Hey, good morning everyone. Here we are in beautiful downtown Rockport, Mass. We're going to do this cove right off Main Street there. All right, we'll begin with uh, the, the three-color sky. It's a Rillian yellow. Get a nice wash and then drop a wash of rose on top of that. So you'll get a nice warm tone. Uh, that has a little cobalt blue. I did the cobalt blue, but I wasn't happy with the amount I put on, so I'm putting another wash of cobalt blue with a touch of Windsor blue to make it a little more brighter. Okay, just the sky. So I'm letting that come down, and while that comes down, I'm painting the inside of a dory here with a little bit of raw sienna just to show some reflective light. You can see that wash coming down, so we'll pick that up. All right, this is the inside of the boat, and I'll put a little, put a little shadow on the back of it. The sun is coming from the right here, very strong on these, on these uh, granite pier here. This cove, they built this cove to protect the boats. You know, I added, as you can see here, I added a sailboat and a dory to to our photo uh, to make it more interesting. So I'm painting the, the quarry here, I'm painting the rock quarry with raw sienna. I'm just uh, putting a light wash and I'm touching it randomly with a towel to create some texture. You know, it's rock, it's stone. I don't want a nice, you know, totally even wash. I want it to be uh, different. It's gonna be warm and cool. Obviously the raw sienna is the warm and the cobalt is the cool. Give you a beautiful granite look. All right, as the, as the stone comes down, you know, it gets warmer and darker. It's, it's hit by the tide, you know, twice a day. You know, a lot of crap, a lot of, a lot of stuff hitting this tide going in and out all day. It turns that rock to a very dark black. And this is just ultramarine with quinciana, quinacridone sienna. That will give you a beautiful black. And you can push that black you know, either way, to the to the Quinciana, which is very warm, or to the cold ultramarine, which is very cold in this case. So I, I push it a little bit towards the warm side. <clears throat> I, I love to see this. You know, the effects of the tide on this on this granite is beautiful. Washing in and out all day, painting around the head of the boat. The bow of the boat is sticking out from that front wall and I'm going with more uh, quinacridone sienna here. It's still wet. I'm letting that top wash come down. Uh, you can see the mix of the cobalt blue and the raw sienna mixing with the quinacridone sienna. It's a gradual, gradual effect from cool to very deep, dark black almost. It's a beautiful place. So I'm going in with a towel here, just again, tapping it here and there randomly to create you know just a, just a random sense of light hitting these the stone all right filling in the, the left side of this uh, cove wall is is going to be very dark it's not getting any light at all and it's it's just hammered by the tide you know by the, by the tide the surf coming in and out so it's much much darker as you can see in the photo All right, there's a, another wall in the front here. Uh, this gets less wear and tear, but it's still the same. It still gets very dark. And so I'm painting the left side of the wall. Again, it's not getting any light, so it's much darker. And this is quinciana at the top, coming down to the quinciana mix with the ultramarine. So it's very dark here leaving little, little nicks in the top of that wall where the light is hitting between the rocks, bringing it all the way down. Okay, it's a little warmer on the right side. It's 
good to have random color there. You know, you don't want the same thing. You don't want to paint it all one value, one shade like you're doing, you know, like you're painting the wall of a barn or something. This is stone and it's vibrating. There's all kinds of reflective light. This, this panel uh, is a little lighter. It's not as warm and hot as the one in the back. Item, right, the water is uh, Windsor blue with a touch of cadmium red. It'll give you that beautiful uh, tone of the water. And we're just gonna paint that whole thing, allowing for the reflections of the boats. Just bring that down and let it get a little bit warmer. as it comes to us. That's the horizon line. I'm gonna do some more out there in a little while, but I wanna just bring this down. <clears throat> you can see I'm adding a little more uh, Windsor blue as it gets closer to the, to the shoreline here. All right, so we're gonna start here with uh, a much darker adding more Windsor blue as it comes closer to the shoreline here. It usually gets warmer because there's some, tra some transparency there. But this earth is very dark. All right, I'm using a moist brush and I'm just going in adding a little bit of moisture to the reflections and letting them come down, okay? Wiping out that hard line that I made uh, for that. So this is just water just moisture really. And you'll see that wash down. Maybe you can give it a little spray if you want, putting a little richer blue in between, making these ripples. All right, so that dark, wall is going to be reflecting into the into the water here so i'm going back with again this is just ultramarine with quincy and a very dark here and the you know the section closer to that wall will be very very dark picking up that reflection just painting around the boat here okay now you can put some you know you can put some ripples in a little bit here and there you don't have to overdo this. Just, you know, leave a little space. Think about the water moving. Let your brush be the water. Yeah, just feel that little movement in the waves. Cutting in that boat. I'm gonna leave that for now. Up front here, we have the reflection of this really dark wall. Just going to put that in, you know, with little ripples. It's it's very close to the shoreline, so and it's reflecting all the way around. So we can just just cover the whole thing. I'm going back with a little bit of quinciana on my brush, so it's floating. Uh, it's reflecting that the warm color of the you know of the wall down there. All right, up up top, it's getting obviously it's a lot lighter getting full sunshine. So I'm just going back and forth with a random wash of raw sienna, leaving spaces, you know, like I said, it's very bumpy up there. All right, I have some uh, raw sienna, maybe a touch of quince sienna on my brush, and I'm just painting these cracks in between the granite panels. And, you know, you can see they run sort of like a brick pattern, you know, one over the other, but you don't have to do every single one, and they don't have to be black. You know, they're black down the bottom there. You can see that where it's getting that, uh, you know, where, where the water is turning the brick to, you know, turning the brick black, but up top it's more warm. You know, it's raw sienna, quinciana, and like I say, you don't have to do every single rock. Just you, you, you suggesting it, suggesting them here and there, so creating that sense of of wall pattern. All right, the boat is up close to the to the wall, so the front of the boat's going to be in shadow. 
There's a rail there that's reflecting that shadow. And that will reflect into the water. I'm going to get down, get back to that in a second. Back of the boat is also reflecting into the water. You can kind of pull some of that reflection across into our ripples. All right, just taking a little bit of uh, the cobalt, the uh, I'm sorry, phthalo blue here. It's mixed with a little bit of ultramarine to create these ripples. Just keep them, you know, they're, they're, they're further apart as they come closer to the shore here. But I'm adding a little bit of Windsor blue mixed with ultramarine for the horizon line back there. Uh, you can you can put a piece of land back there if you want uh, or not, you know. All right, I'm going to do some details on the boat. Uh, there's the mast, you know, a little, little raw sienna mixed with a little quin sienna maybe, you know, just a warm color. And there's ropes, there's ropes that tie the, the sail to the mast there, so. All right, I wet the sail first, and then I dropped some raw sienna in it. Now I'm mixing that with the cobalt blue, just creating that shadow effect. And that'll get a lot lighter, as you can see. And then I'm going in with a, a really, uh, just keep mixing until you're happy with the raw sienna and the, the cobalt blue. Then I use the wet brush just to soften that hard edge on the sail so you can see it just with water. All right, this is just raw sienna, cobalt blue mixed. All right, I'm putting in the flag here. I decided that I need the, I need the flag for balance, really. Uh, I thought that dory would be enough, but it really isn't. Uh, but there's nothing, the flag is wonderful. So, little ultramarine for the blue, and just some cad red for the stripes. And then I'm going to let these run, kind of run together in a shadow. All right, that's just touching that with water. So, the water will run down and create a shadow. Using a little gouache here for the, the uh, flagpole. All right, I need to also reflect that in the water, which I didn't do. Uh, okay, so there's a couple of braces here. Putting a little bit of white on the edge of the sail, catching that sun. Just very sparingly, you know. There's some white uh, wraps on the end of the poles. You see that all the time to protect the poles from getting rotted, okay? And I'm gonna put a figure in here. What I'm doing first is I put his head in, but I'm wetting his body. I'm gonna lift out some of that uh, color of the wall that I painted it. So I'm, as you can see, I'm lifting it out. And that's kind of enough to create his shirt, but he's a very fashionable young man. He's got this beautiful little dory with a sail, and he's going to have a beautiful French shirt, sailing shirt with some white shorts. His wife is saying, why are you wearing those white shorts? You get them all fish. All right, we'll put a few more figures over here watching all the action. Little boy hopes he can be a sailor someday. You got to give these people some legs. All right, a little bit of shadow under there. All right, that was really a lot of fun. That's a great scene. It's a great spot to paint across from the Rockport Art Association. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again very soon.